So we're going to talk about how to use polygroups to create better UVs. As you can see, I'm using the generic bust in ZBrush that can be found inside of your light box inside of tools. And it's called the demo head that ZTL, ZTL for ZTool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch my material for the skin shade four and making sure that only M for material selected. I'm going to fill this object with this material. So I'm going to go to color and I'm going to select fill object. I use this all the time. That's why I have this as a shortcut right here inside of my custom UI. Excellent. So notice that if I go to my polyframe shortcut is shift and F, you will see that certain areas of the face, like the eyes, the nose, the mouth and the ears, have been isolated using polygroups. The reason why is because if we use shift and control and I click on an area that I want to work, I get this area. Let me get rid of the polyframe. And if I want to work, let's say on the face, I would use shift control and then hide the face and everything else around it. And then select the opposite, which would be shift control and drag. And now I can concentrate and sculpt on the face, add details, textures, and on and on. That's the main reason why we use polygroups. So now we're going to lay out UVs on this mesh right here. And we're going to take advantage of these polygroups to create very specific islands for better UV layout and for less distortion. So I'm going to go to my Z plugin, UV Master. I already have it right here on my left tray. And again, we're going to work on a clone. Notice that all I have is the generic cylinder, the poly mesh, and the simple brush, and my demo head. As soon as I click work on clone, what ZBrush is going to do is going to take this mesh right here, take it down to the lowest subdivision, and create what's called a clone. And as you can see, here's our clone. We know it's the clone because the name has been renamed with the letter CL underscore and then the name of the mesh, in this case, demo head. I'm going to do first an unwrap and so you can see what it looks like. And as soon as we do the unwrap, the first thing we have to do is go to flatten. And there you have the UVs, right? I guarantee you there's very little distortion, but this is not what we want. We have a seam in the front of the head, as you can see right here. And we don't want that. So let's unflatten and go back. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select polygroups. And then we're going to wrap. And again, same amount of time, I'm going to click on flatten and notice the big difference. So here's the head right here. We have our ears, our eye bags and our nose and our mouth separated into different islands. I'm going to go to unwrap. Let's say, for example, we wanted just the face all as one piece without the eye socket and what's called the mouth bag. So what we would do is delete this clone right here. I'm going to click on delete and say, OK, we're going to go back to the original and we are going to change those polygroups. I'm going to go to my lowest subdivision level by going shift and D. I can also go to my geometry slider and move this all the way down. And I want to keep the face except for the bust. So for this next step right here, I will refer you guys to our Fullerton College Digital Art YouTube channel. And in the ZBrush playlist, you will find a video about creating polygroups. The basic concept is simple. All you want to do is hide everything except for what you want to group and then go to polygroups and click on group visible. So again, I am hiding things that I don't want grouped and I'm leaving everything that I want grouped together and then I'm grouping visible what I want to be part of the same polygroup and that's pretty much it. Perfect. Let's again work on a clone. A clone has been created as you can see right here. I'm going to select the clone and let me get rid of the polyframe. Perfect. So again, let's just do an unwrap first without the polygroups. And let me flatten it. So this is what we would get. Again, you can see the different polygroups, but everything is attached. So let's go to unflatten. And this time we're going to select polygroups. And let's see what's going to give us. And now let's flatten it. 
and there you have it. So what ZBrush has done, it has used the polygroups to create individual islands of UVs. In Maya, these are called shells, right? And what we can do next is we can unflatten, copy the UVs from the clone. We will go to the original demo head. And while this UV master is open, we will go to paste UV. It is the only thing that we can do to the original is paste the UVs from the clone. And this is how we use polygroups in ZBrush to create independent UV shells for our meshes.